What's going on guys, Adam here. Welcome back to the Flip Room. For anyone new around here, I'm a part-time eBay and Depop reseller. I buy from car boots, vintage wholesalers, and I sell them online, mainly on eBay and also on Depop. And today's a bit of a day in the life of a part-time reseller. So, I need to pick a few orders, which I've already done. Let me show you what's going on today. We've got three orders. It's currently Tuesday, so these are all the orders from a Monday. Um, only three pairs of trainers, so I need to get those quickly packaged off to Hermes or slash Royal Mail, depending on where they're going. And then I may pop into a charity shop. So if I do, you can pop along with me um, and see where else the day takes us, I guess. So yeah, let's get into it. Here are the orders going out today. These are some clothing items, which I've recently just photographed and listed. So I need to cellophane those and, and pat them away. But here are the three orders. Starting off left to right, we have a pair of gray, Gray suede Adidas Gazelles. These were actually a personal item, but I bought the wrong size. Um, they've gone for £22. So good to know because you, if you can pick them up for, say, less than a fiver and they're in good condition, you know you're going to get easily kind of comfortable £20-25 for them. So yeah, nice. Um, these were actually a, a decent flip and a brand I don't normally pick up. These are a pair of Kurt Geiger um, leather boots made in Portugal. Um, again, really nice condition. Paid three pound from last week's car boot, and it sold within a week. Um, so yeah, twenty five pound for him to twenty five pound is amazing. And Kurt Geiger, I say, don't want to pick it up. So yeah, going to keep a look look out for these as well now. Um, boots have been selling really well for me recently. I've sold a few pairs of boots. So yeah, nice. Another again, another nice easy flip pair of uh, like kind of khaki green vans. Another three pound pick up from last week's car boot, and this has gone for twenty pound plus postage. So it was vans simply into a nice kind of clear cellophane bag and then into a mailing bag with the boots. Um, I would like to put this in a box actually and then I'll put a, just a little bit of kind of um, paper in them to make them, you know, not squish out in the box too much. Let's get it in there. Get it in there. So with the boots, they go into a box over into the uh, kind of leaning tower of Pisa here or boxes that I've got. Um, this one looks a decent size. Let's give this a go. It's like an absolute glass. Look at that. Job done. Uh, I will actually, in the description, I'll list where I get the surface bags from. These are from eBay. These are the 12 by 16 inch, and for 100 are like £6.99. So yeah, super cheap. It does make it look yeah, makes it look really small when it gets in there. So, and then finally, the gazelles. Um, probably gonna shrink grab this quick. And here is the black kind of uh, cellophane film, which I use again from Amazon. I'll try and link it in the description below. Um, if something's already in the box, I don't want to rebox it again. So I'll just use this or I'll use a mailing bag. I'll see if it fits in the mailing bag. If not, I'll be shrink wrapping it in this. And finally, the converse. So the converse, the vans, also into the mania bag. Again, you can see why I love selling trainers because how easy is it to pack? It's super easy. And then I'm back to the computer to, uh, yeah, to print off the postage labels. Now I've just invested in a Zebra thermal print label, but until this point, I've actually just been printing at the shop or just printing actually with just a, like an inkjet printer, which isn't, isn't the best. I've, I've finally, I should have done it a long time ago, but I finally invested into a thermal printer. I cannot wait for that to come. Um, yeah, so pop over to the computer now and then I'll go on to my parcel to go, which is linked to my eBay page and I'll quickly just show you what it looks like. So load up the webpage, parceltogo.com. Um, as I've already linked to my eBay account, so I go to Smart Send, go to Smart Send. I try and just copy out the people's address. Um, now, what you can see almost immediately here is the price of this every parcel is five pound fifteen, which is expensive, right? For a small parcel, all these are small parcels. You can see the others are like two pound forty seven. Uh, what you need to look out for on um, with Hermes or every is when it's going to like Northern Scotland or parts of Northern Ireland or the whole of New Northern Ireland, um, anywhere quite remote, they just there's an additional cost. So with this one here, I'm going to delete it and go back and send that via raw mail. This particular one. The others are fine to go Hermes. Just on the way to the post office now. However, before I do so, I need to get rid of some stock. Once I get rid of, it just cleanses the mind 
Um, yeah, I've got this uh, kind of bag for life bag full of just, just rubbish, like stuff stuff that I've got from kind of vintage wholesale orders, which are just not worth my time listing. And it's just, you know, it's not, it's not why I want to donate to the charity shops because they've got like rips and tears and stuff like that. You know, it's not worth anyone's time. Um, I don't ever like to put anything back into landfill, um, but I do put them in these kind of clothes. Hopefully they get recycled somewhere. I don't know if they just end back into a, into a mill somewhere, but uh, yeah, I mean, have to get rid of them somewhere. So cleanse the mind, cleanse the soul. Get rid of some dead stock quick, chuck them in these shoots here, and then pop to Hermes. Hermes done. Now I'm popping off the one to warm out. And do you know what? These little parts of parcel boxes here I love them absolutely love them see ya Done. right before we jump in the charity shop I need to get a haircut because it's getting a little bit long let's see if I can do a little transition ready three two one there we go job done oh look let's jump in see if we can pay back the haircut First of all, always check the window. They know the bolos now. <laughs> they know what to look out for. Furby. Limited edition, £17.50 though. Figurines are pretty cool. Seems right this side. Oh, look at their skates. Again, they're just probably not that beat on the bones, but I thought, yeah, oh, lovely pair. Good brand to look out for. Bayer or Boya. Very good brand. Can't see if you have to get inside. Back in the car, so yeah, you know, so we've picked up one pair of trainers, New Balance. Initially, I thought these were the nine, the 990 V4s. I'm sure you can make it out on the camera. 
Um, and I was like shocked by the price of some of the soles of the 990 V4s of the New Balance. Uh, but they didn't look the same, so I was so confused. But then I worked out after I bought them, they're actually the 880 V4s, which um, sell for around 20 to 25 pounds, which is kind of what I expect them. Um, you know, when you pick something like this up, multicolored kind of running trainer, really good, kind of bright, you know, size four women's running trainers, you think 20, 25 quid. Um, and that's really what they sell for. So yeah, still pays for the haircut, so I can't complain. But if you are out in the world and you see the 990 V4s, pick them up, they're worth some dollar in case i've got to say they owe me four quid right it's a bit later in the day now yeah i've been doing some other bits and pieces some other bits of work um back from charity shops earlier i sort of just picked up the one pair of trainers i've got a bit of a love hate relationship with charity shops my local charity shops because and fair play to them they they are starting to catch on in my local, as you probably saw, some of the prices of like the Furby, um, the ice skates, um, what else I get on camera? They were the main two bits, which kind of were bolos, you know, things to look out for. In other shops, they could, that could be like a pound for a Furby and five pound for a pair of skates, and they'd be like an absolute bargain. Um, but fair play to them, they're starting to do their research, they're starting to um, price appropriately ish. Um, I don't, I, I didn't look what they were worth. Um, Furby's probably about that, maybe a bit more. The ice skates are probably a little bit more, but again, not enough meat on the bones, potentially. Um, so yeah, just stay clear of them, really. But yeah, so, so when it popped into two shops, there was a couple of bits. I think the Jeff Bank jeans were a bit of a, not really worth it. And I think actually I checked afterwards and yeah, they don't sell for much. Um, and the M&S jumper, um, like button up jumper, if that was winter, I probably would have picked it up for, was it four quid? Uh, it was Merino wall blend, um, which is not too bad for the cover. M&S not the, the best brand, but so if it was winter in season, I probably picked up. I've got tons of clothing to get on with. So again, left that. Um, there was a dodgy fake Reese piece, I think somewhere, which yeah, just check the wash care labels when you're out and about um, and just go with your gut feeling on, on stuff. If you think it's fake, um, normally your gut, your initial gut feeling and the feel, the material, the wash care labels, they all give it away. Hmm. Anyway, uh, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna do some more work and then I'm going to hopefully do a little bit of listing, a little bit of photography. When I was out earlier, I listed a couple of items. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for the rest of the day. Just had an offer come in for the Nikko Turbo Pan for unfortunately this one's 40. Otherwise it's worth about 40, 50 quid. Um, they're offering 20, I paid it eight. Uh, we're gonna hold that, probably decline it or counter offer at 25 and see what they say. Time to do some listings and to be fair, I'm a bit fed up for listing clothing, so we'll do something a bit different and list some camera stuff. We've got the Polaroid 600 um, and we have a couple of 35 mm lenses. We have a, a Ricoche and uh, that is the FF9D. And we also have the Minolta um, AFE. So I'm um, not too sure on comps for these but yeah gonna take some pictures i'll try and leave some screenshots here um and see what they're worth by the way i really need to re-wrap or re all this top you can see it's getting all kind of marked up which doesn't look too good in the photos but you know it, it, my setup is really really simple um so i just do a square one by one photo so it looks something similar to that which is quite nice with the contrast wood at the back i just need to kind of uh, give this a bit of another resurface i reckon Forgot to mention with the cameras, all I simply do is just put batteries in it um, and then just make sure it's function. You know, functional makes all the right noises and stuff. I don't actually have film, so it'd be sold as untested, but kind of like power tested, if that makes sense. Um, and that way, put it all out in the description. And fingers crossed there's no returns. Okay, gonna leave it there today. Uh, done bits and pieces throughout the day, as you probably saw. Started with some kind of packing, some posting, a little bit of sourcing around the charity shops. Uh, and then some listing as well. So kind of all in a bit of a day to life, bit of a vlog style. So hopefully you enjoyed uh, this video's content. Uh, if you did, make sure you hit the like button, leave a comment down below. I, re I will reply to every comment. That is a promise. So leave a comment down below and I promise I will reply. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I, I upload again. So yeah, thanks for your time. I appreciate you and have an awesome day.